Hey, Ian Thompson here. As you all know, LiveWave 11.5 was released and we're going to take a look at a couple new tools which are available. So we're going to be doing a little project here where we're going to try and use these new tools to retopologize a high res mesh. So let's get started. Okay. The tools we're going to be using uh, are Heat Shrink and Tweak. And first thing we're going to need to do here is to bring in a high res mesh. So I've gone ahead and I've created, um, not created, I've bought in a high res mesh from uh, Das 3D. So I'll just unhide that object here. And you can see in my layers palette here that my high res mesh is, is on a layer. So just taking a quick look here at this uh, mesh, you can see it's uh, quite dense in terms of uh, polygon count. And we're aiming here to reduce this down as much as we can. Um, so first thing we're going to do is create a new layer and we'll put the high-res mesh in the background layer by clicking this small tab here underneath the letter B. Okay, so I'm going to be working down here in this viewport. So I'll expand this viewport out so I'm looking directly at the face. And to start off, uh, I'm going to start with a polygon. So many different ways of making it. I'm just going to use this uh, pen tool and I'll start off by just making a couple of points around the eye and hitting spacebar to release that tool. So just pop back here. You can see what I've got is this polygon, single polygon that's been made. At the moment it's not in the right place. It's actually buried inside the head. So I'm going to use T for move hold down the control button and just slide it to the front of the face. So now we can see it. So let's hop back now into our single viewport mode and zoom in. And you can see that polygon there. I'm just going to change from color wireframe to wireframe because it's a little bit easier to see and just click anywhere off the screen here just to deselect. So this is our polygon and our high-res mesh in the background. So now we can come to one of the first tools, the new tools in 11.5, which is Tweak. You'll find Tweak under the Modify tab. And right down there, click on that button and you get this coming up. So we've got some options here, which is uh, left mouse button to move and right mouse button to extend an element. Now, an element has been shown here by uh, this highlighted object, this highlighted polygon, sorry. So an edge is highlighted, so that's considered an element. And here is a vertex being selected, so that's considered an element and also if we move our cursor in the middle of the polygon, then the polygon is considered the element. So by right-clicking the mouse, as it says here, we can extend any of those elements. Now, I'm only going to be extending the uh, edges here. So I'm going to start by making a loop which goes right the way around this eye here. So right-click. Let's do that again. Right click and holding the right mouse button down, I'm going to then pull out to the side. So then I'm just going to hit the left mouse button and then just turn this around so I'm getting the nice flow. So again, right click and move. And then tweaking the vertex after. So this is a bit of a tedious process, but a necessary, a necessary, necessary 
one when we are actually retopologizing. Now, I'm not. This isn't a, a tutorial for just um, uh, retopologizing. Well, we're here to kind of check out the tools. So, I'm going to just take this um, so far. And then um, I've already got one pre-made, which I'll bring in to show you the second part of this tutorial. But let's continue here as we're going around this eye. You can see I'm just right-clicking the mouse, left-clicking the mouse to just move the element, the vertex element here. Okay, now whenever you re in a face, um, as I said, I'm not going to go into any detail on this, but your your loops, your polygon loops are extremely important, the way that they, they work. And this one is the, the first one that we're creating here is, is the main loop for the eyes. So at this point, I can drop this tool and select the four points, four vertices here, and then hit P just to close that uh, uh, loop. And I'm just going to hit Command T and just move these around. I could use the tweak again, but I, I'm used to using it at the moment, the um, uh, um, Lightwave generic move command. So I'm just uh, tweaking these now and moving them around just so I get a, a nicer shape around the eye. something like that and of course you can put as many polygons in as you as you like in your loops but the object of retopologizing is is to try and create a, a low density mesh to capture the detail of the high poly mesh so let's call this one done and just zoom back out again and see what we've got right i now need to create uh, another loop here um, one around the mouth, which is going to go right away around this direction, and one around the bridge of the nose, which goes over the cheekbone, down, around, and ends up back here at the chin. So let's create this one first. Now, two ways I could do this here. I could um, continue um, the way I'm working here. And if you remember, if I just zoom out here, I moved that single polygon to the front of the face before in order to be working directly in front of our uh, background mesh. Now, if I create another polygon, it's going, my light wave is going to put it back into the center again and I have to move that out again and, and, and repeat that process. Or I could just go back into here using tweak again, right click and drag this one out, and right click again and dra drag another one out. And so I can start my loop now from this way. So it's good when you've got the background mesh because you can see these three polygons here in the high density mesh have been um, basically condensed down into this single uh, loop here now. So I'm just generally following that. So right click in, left click, right click and hold, left click, click to move the vertices. And the last one, we'll bring it to there. Now with this with these last two here, the first and the last, what I'm gonna do is just select those two vertices and hit V on the keyboard and then just place those directly on this axis. And that's just 
to help me with the mirroring when I come to uh, create a symmetrical copy of this side of the face. Okay, so that's another loop done. It's not completed yet because we've yet to do that mirroring process, but I can just continue working on this side. So let's continue and let's pull this one out back to the tweak tool, left click, left click again, and I'm going to pull the polygon out there. Another poly there. Let's move this around. Now it's quite easy with this uh, uh, high-res mesh in the background because the topology is, is, is quite nice on this figure. So it's easy for me to just follow the original artist's um, uh, edge loops that, he's, that he created. But it's good practice to do this way. So let's drop the tool again and repeat the same thing where we're just going to we'll do both of them at the same time. Just select those vertices, V on the keyboard, and snap those to the axis. Okay, so that's another loop done there. And the last one will be one that goes almost like around the edge of the face itself. Okay, so let's do this one quickly. Uh, we'll use this one here. And use the tweak tool. Pass down. And I'll pull this one right the way up here. Tool again. Drop. Okay, I'll just get this one into position where I generally want that to go. Now I, I can delete this if I want to, or just just continue. This at the moment is just extending out. Um, this polygon here that's highlighted is just extending out, just so that um, all my polygons are in line. Let's just check that they are. Just jump back out of here, rotate the model around, and you can see here that all my polygons are in a nice, on a nice flat plane, all equal. Okay, so let's jump back into this viewport and quickly just go around this again. Now I'm being careful not to go too far to the edge and I'll show you why um, in the next part of this tutorial. Uh, basically um, these tools are not specifically retopology tools um, that, that I'm doing. This is just a technique um, which which makes use of, of these tools, um, but but they are not retopology tools per se. Um, there there are more specialized tools for that in other applications such as um, 3D coat and, and ZBrush uh, for retopologizing, and uh, this is almost there as a retopology tool, but 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 not quite. Not quite yet. It doesn't quite function in some in some respects as you as you might think. Um, so let's just snap that there and snap that to the axis as well. Okay, so we're almost done with this section. The last thing I want to do here is is just mirror this over. So I'm going to go to my multiply tab and mirror X. So now we've got our edge loops around. Ignore these two polygons here, this one and this one. Those are just bridging polygons which I've used as I said earlier. Okay, let's just zoom out of here 
and this is where we're at at the moment. Kind of like a face mask. Almost ready. Okay, we'll end this tutorial here, uh, this part of the tutorial, and uh, we'll pick it up in part two.